Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'll be doing a normal video like I used to today, no voiceover, just to be quicker, to be honest, because editing those takes forever. But um, continuing with the lather games theme, if you watched my last video, it's another challenge today. And um, today's theme for the lather games, and if in case you didn't watch the other video, lather games is a um, kind of a month long contest on Reddit, and I think there's like over quite, quite uh, something somewhere around 150 people playing right now. Maybe and a few dropped off, but um, still going strong. There's a theme every day, and um, like use a barber shop use something your most expensive setup which is today use your most expensive setup and unfortunately because of criteria for um you know you have to use 29 unique soaps or brands to fulfill a certain uh, point requirement i cannot use my most expensive ones so this is my third or fourth most expensive setup it's holy cow project leather and i believe i have uh I think I've reviewed it on here before. It's uh, some time ago, maybe two years ago. But I'll be using that with the splash. And um, for those wondering, my most expensive setups would be either my Leviathan Trifecta with the Aftershave Soap and Splash. I don't know, I mean, Aftershave Soap and EDT, which is around $70. Or my um, Night Music set, which is around $50, just alone without the EDT. Um, I've never been able to get the EDT. But, um... I've already used Barrister Man twice for their their sponsored day and for Try That Soap Day where it randomly picked Dickens for me to use, which was weird. Um, so I can't use it again, so obviously I gotta go with uh, my next most expensive things, which would be Holy Cow. And they're more premiumly priced. Um, I think this right here in the Donkey Milk Formula is $24, $23.99. The Aftershave is a little cheaper at $18.99, I believe, or $17.99. But it, it, it's in the $40-ish dollar range, $42, I believe. And then for the brush, using my Leviathan Custom that I had Milton from Turn and Shave made, make early on when he was first doing customs. So I got this for pretty cheap. He did the handle and set the knot for like $48. Bought this coin off of eBay. It's really cool. Got these runes on the side. It's like a sea dragon. Um, got that off of eBay. He set that for me. And then this is a uh, mother load knot that I got from a different person and um, sent it to them. So all in all, it was about 70 bucks for this. I don't use Badger Knots. I've had one, ba I've had two Badger Knots. One was a crappy Vanderhagen. The other was a Sterling brush that was a little too big. I think it was the, the finest Badger with a huge 26 millimeter knot and it just was too much. I got rid of that. So I don't use Badgers anymore um, for various reasons. Um, you can ask me in the comments if you want. Um, and for the expensive razor, well, it's not that expensive really, it's $65. It's my most expensive razor that I have, the Razor Rock um, Mamba with the Halo handle, $64.99 retail. Now I traded for this, I didn't pay that much for it, but that's this would qualify as my most expensive razor. Um, so that's the setup, and beneath the theme every day there's a challenge, and today is to use the Marco method for lathering. And uh, basically the, it's called that because it's a, um, it's called the Marco method because it's a high, it's like, I guess Marco Polo, I don't know. I'm not honestly not sure why they call it that. I should have looked that up. Maybe I'll put that in the video here somewhere. I'll look it up. But um, there's a video done by a user called I am SMS, and I will link that down below and he shows on how to properly hydrate your lather because a lot of people complain that a lot of guys on here, like uh, Mantic and just a bunch of guys under hydrate their ladder and they have dry bits going around and I that used to be me too um, when I was watching the video for the challenge today I was like huh this is kind of how I do it now he was doing it a little better than me because he was loading more soap but um, we're gonna try that today I'm gonna load a ton as much as I possibly can into this probably load for about a minute maybe longer and then just drown it in water and portions of this video will be fast forwarded for time constraints but we'll start it I'm gonna shut up now and just talk sporadically throughout but um, we're going to try it out, so don't go away. I barely wrung this out just to keep it from dunking water everywhere, but it is very, very wet. So, we'll try that out here. And I'm actually going to put some water drops. This Holy Caw soap is very firm. I'm just going to put some water drops and loosen it so it loads a little easier. That's what I do 
for uh, Mike's Natural Soaps. Mike's Natural Soaps is notoriously hard soap and newcomers to that brand have trouble lathering it and you'll see questions, especially in the past when it was he was more u widely used. We'll just speed this up right here. This method is much, much more messy. Um, I usually wring my brushes out till they're just damp and there's no water coming out of it and then load up and then add water as I go. This right here is more of a pre-hydration method, so it's a lot more messy, especially using a synthetic knot. Um, probably would work well with a bore knot, but that's my bore knots are cheap. Bore brushes are pretty cheap, and today's criteria was to use something expensive. It's getting there. I mean, it's already peaking. There's a proto lather going on here. It's really nice. Donkey Milk Base is still, I mean, it's behind their uh, Sierra, the new Sierra base, which I've not tried, and their Bufala base, which is like a Buffalo Milk or Buffalo Whey and um, Donkey Milk Tallow base. I've not tried either of those, but this is still a top tier soap, even with those. Uh, reformulations and uh, from the addition. Look at that. I mean, it's just great. I'll add a little, add a little more here. Load up a little more here. This is crazy. And what I'll do is, um, that's a ton there. It's dripping off the brush. I'm going to wet my face thoroughly and then apply this, which I'll do that off camera. And then we'll start lathering and make a huge mess along the way. I actually made a video for yesterday's challenge and I did something very similar to this. Make a wet dripping lather with a shirt on, which is what I'd normally do anyway, but this will be probably even more messy. And the video's unlisted. I, I've, it was a very quick, like, two and a half minute video, fast forwarded, just to show that I did it. And it's, it's unlisted only for people who have the link. Because I didn't want to inundate people's feeds with videos they don't really want to watch. I don't think anybody watched the video actually because I posted it really late last night. And I'm, I'm actually doing something I don't normally do is I don't normally shave every day. I'm having to with the lather games and I actually shaved about 20 hours ago or 18 hours ago really. And My neck is kind of itchy right here. I just got a little too close so I'm going to have to just avoid that area. But let's get going. If you're a daily, whoa, and there's a huge blob of soap just hit the floor. If you're a daily shaver and you have sensitive skin, um, mother load knot or a synthetic that's with similar density and softness is good because it's gentle on your face. This lather feels great. The scent is very good. It's kind of a misnomer. There's leather there and suede, but it's got kind of a berry bourbon scent to it I really like. This is the only Holy Call soap I own. Um, I tend to not buy more expensive things, and I got a good deal on this. From Ben, who runs Mammoth Soaps. Um, it, it wasn't his cup of tea, so I bought a small lot off of him. Back when he was first starting wet shaving. Okay, it's time to add more water. I could shave with this though. I mean, you look, there's already a sheen to it. It's already pretty well hydrated. And this is not a hard to dial in base. Um, yesterday, I, I, added, I lathered the sterling for about between five and seven minutes and I just could not get it to break down. I made a mess, but it was still a very good stable lather. I like sterling because it's not expensive and it performs great. Look at that. That looks. This is. I would stop right now on a normal day. Let's keep going. Let's push it. The point is to make it to the point of nearly breaking down and dripping off your face. So that's the method. That's the challenge. So I gotta try to get there. Gotta get those points. A lot of people don't like this uh, mother load knot and it's kind of scarce now. I don't think it's very easy to find, but um, some people said it's too floppy and it is floppy. It doesn't have a lot of backbones you can see, but, um, and other people had problems with it shedding. I've never lost a fiber from it. So I guess I got a good one, 
but it's just very comfortable for my face. It's uh, just feels so luxurious and it was not expensive, which I'm all about that. Especially when you're putting together a custom brush with somebody, which is can be pricey. Now, compared to a lot of uh, other makers out there like Declaration, his brushes are you know, $280. I never got one. I mean, never fast enough for one thing and my wife would kill me. I've only paid more than $100 for a brush one time and it was a horrible quality and I had to send it back and got my money back. And I'm a little skittish about it. I'm just not a big spender. I feel like I can get a stellar shave with the same, with, you know, with cheaper, cheaper products. So I'm not going to be on the high end scale of the ladder today for the use your best most expensive setup. Expensive doesn't mean best. It can mean quality, but not always. In fact, I'm, I'm betting my uh, shave today won't be too much different than my Sterling shave yesterday with cheaper stuff. This is fantastic. But let's keep going with the, what the water here. I'm gonna stop talking so we have, I can meet the time constraints of the video. Done. And there's more blobs down. So I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm losing soap everywhere, and this is. I could probably hydrate it more, but I don't want it to break down because I actually need to shave with this. So let's just get a pass underway. I'm probably gonna do one pass because it's been you know less than 24 hours. So let's get it going. That's slick. Um, got an Edison stainless uh, blade in here, very sharp, um, pretty expensive, about $23, $25 for a uh, hundred of them, about feather level prices there. This is a very good daily, if you have to shave every day and you have sensitive skin, very mild. That's all I'm going to do on my neck. I'm just a little nervous about it. Yeah. Great pass. Um, I think that's good enough. Um, so, rinse off and we'll uh, talk about it. Wow, that was incredible. Um, that's the best shave I've had since I used PP8 and reviewed it for this channel. That was a stunning shave and this was very close to that. I can't wait to use that method on that soap. That's going to be a killer. I may actually do another video for that because that soap can take its water. I mean, it's almost impossible to drown it. And I pushed this one, I think, to its limits. Got a little bit of burn right here just because that's just me. But this stuff burns every time. But it helps uh, with razor bumps whenever I get lax of my technique, which I did yesterday for sure. So. This will help my uh, neck there, but I don't even really feel like I need to use any post product because the Donkey Milk base is so good at hydrating your skin, but I'm going to do it anyway because we always do. Who does? Who doesn't? Matching Project Leather Splash here and my wife will appreciate this. This was uh, yesterday's was something that will uh yesterday's uh criteria was use something that will keep your wife away from your significant other yeah wow that burns Whew. forgot how much this uh i think part of it is the scent i have a, i was having a little bit of reaction to the scent when i was shaving just a tiny bit and so the splash is more so it's more concentrated so that makes sense but uh, other than that i can't complain great stuff um if you like what you see Please like and subscribe and comment below. If you have any suggestions for me to improve, um, I noticed the last couple of videos, some people um, unsubbed. I, don't, I really don't know what I did wrong. Um, if you do unsub, let me know. Let me know um, what I could do better because that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, why did they unsub? I don't know what I did wrong. So 
just let me know. And I'm always open to suggestions. So any constructive criticism you can offer, I appreciate. I will see you next time. Happy Lather Games.